amazing. Hi, John. Nice to Hi, meet uh, you. Uh, My uh, brother uh, is going to flip out when <laughs> I send him this video. I just have to let you know that. I was like, keeping secrets that I'm interviewing. They're up there saying, I'm going to work. No, I just got a video with John Sally to send to my brother for his birthday. Happy <laughs> birthday. No, I'm joking. Right. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, I absolutely loved you in this movie. I think it's so fun to see you be like such a dad, but also in the sneaker world and also using like your basketball background. Like this was such a stretch, you know? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, the stars have aligned in my favor so many times in life. And this movie is definitely the alignment that I thank the universe for and the creator of all times. I've always wanted to be in a musical. Uh, I always wanted to rap. So, you know, I love hip hop and I always wanted to be a rapper. I, I tried it back when I was in high school, all high school, and then I just <laughs> loved it. You know, I, I know, you know, when you're good or you can do something, but to, be able to do my favorite form of battle rap and acting in a Disney musical that is Black excellence. Uh, it's amazing. That's awesome. Like It's like mind-blowing a way it aligns for you, right? It definitely does. <laughs> so is that your favorite moment in the movie? I was going to ask your favorite movie. Is it the ending when you get to have your shining star rap battle? I think the whole, I love the whole movie. I love the, the, the scene with my whole family in the living room and us having a conversation. And uh, <clears throat> I like that because I live in a house right now with, with three women. I, I live, oh, there you, go. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I live this life and um, my two older kids don't really argue, but they do push, you know, they mm -hmm. do push each other and we are in a family business. So I, I get it. I definitely get it. What is it that you hope uh, your fans and even like all the younger generation that are growing up learning who you are that they take from this film? That whatever you dream can happen. And I'm, I'm living proof of it because I'm from uh, a project in Brooklyn. Yeah, I did grow tall, but there's a lot of tall kids that didn't uh, do everything they wanted to do. I've been able in my life to do everything I've ever wanted to do. And I'm, I'm thankful for that. That's amazing. We're, are you a huge sneakerhead? Because I love that this is the world they brought Cinderella in because the whole story is about the shoe, right? It's a whole character. Right. So I love that they've brought this world kind of from the underground, which it's not super underground to the like the forefront. Like, Are you a huge sneaker fan? Do you love this twist on the story? I love it to death. I tell people <laughs> I wore the sneaker that we're talking about the drop. I wore that in 1985. And then I, I used to you know, wear it in all these different places, getting pictures in it, hopefully that Adidas was going to come and say, hey, we want to give you all this money and you be one of our players. They didn't. <laughs> but, uh, but that's OK. That's OK. Uh, I still love the shoe. I love it. Now, tell me for my last question for you in 30 seconds or less, tell everyone why they need to check out Sneakerella on Disney+. Plus. Because it comes out on May 13th on Disney Plus. And why else would you do anything but sit still on May, on Friday the 13th? You might as well sit still and then say, wow, this is not such a bad day. There's no such thing as bad luck. That John Sally guy can act a little bit. I like these songs. Sneakerella, May 13th. Oh, on Disney Plus. <laughs> Perfect. Amazing, John. Thank you so much Thank for you. your time today.